out. And as you see, get in, push the button, boom, and away we go. I think there's a track piece, there's a piece of fencing up here missing that I need to replace. A creeper blew up uh, as I was traveling along, and well, this didn't have well. Gotcha here. I had to rebuild some of my rail system. The, uh, the main reason that I uh, put these fences on, as I said, is to keep mobs from spawning in or near my rail system. Because I'm traveling so fast, I don't have to worry about creepers bothering it. And the general design is set up such that um, the only thing I'd really have to worry about is spiders. And I don't think that they're going to be able to get up on my, my rail system. Just saying. Um, still... I tend to run around with a sword if I'm running with this in uh, less than peaceful or more than peaceful. All right, now hold on a second. I'm about to hop out because I want to show you something else along the way here. There we go. Probably gonna put that. Nope. All right. Oh, there's that. Now here's a house I built. Now you're thinking, oh well, that's just a house. It's kind of nice. So ho hum. I actually built this because I needed a secondary base to continue work instead of going all the way back every time. And it also happened to be that it, when I um, added uh, up all the blocks I'd used, I figured this was a full kilometer. And and guess what? It actually was. It was fairly uh, fairly close to being a full kilometer. And that's when I got my honor rail achievement. It was near here. I got it. Um, take you inside. Got a nice little cozy fire going on. Good place to be out of the rain. Got all my items. Diamond in there. Do I have any more? Let's see. Oh, look, got iron. That's not iron. Iron's good. I like iron. Don't mind me. Go. And I have extra rails. Upstairs, uh, junk, junk, and a bed. Let's turn off the rain, shall we? Now you may be noticing that uh, this is all stone. It kind of eps with the look. Well, originally it was wood, and I found out that that um, well, <laughs> this all burned if I didn't have it as bricks. So um, yeah. This is also a uh, tree farm that I have, that I grow trees in this field back here. Um, I just place them kind of randomly and cut down any I need. Tree farms are something that if you're going to be playing Minecraft in a serious way, it just makes a whole lot of sense to have. Um, you can get your, your birch trees, you can get all the trees you need, and you don't have to go hunting. And It really does contribute to making the world look a little better. And each place you see a field is really a good place to start a tree farm um, because you're generally going to be able to get as much wood as you need and uh, it's not cheating. Okay, back to the rail system. Oh. Put that. There it is. Alright. And on we go. Not really much else to talk about it. I just hope you enjoy looking at uh, this because this did take me a long time to build and it does go quite a ways. Um, I think when I, I estimate it's probably about two kilometers long or one point. I thought it was probably a mile, probably a mile, full mile. If we're going to go use uh, standard measurements um, since it's not exactly kilometers, a little bit more than that. And this stretch is shorter than the last stretch. Um, this, as you see, was a surface dungeon that I passed as I drove past it. And I've bored through hills and valleys and all other things. Coming through here. Through here. This, we're coming into the next station. As you can see, there's a brick in the way, so we're going to split. Boom. I always have uh, carts ready to go. Oh, knocked me out. That's all right. I always have extra carts on the track just so I have them. Um, 
Um, again, as I was digging this out, I found several dungeons. This was a little cave that was connected to the whole thing, and I dug around looking for stone, and boom, look at this, I had found a dungeon. Um, and there's uh, still stuff I left in the chests. Didn't get everything, but that's all. That's the one thing I need to build is a mob grinder for peaceful mobs. Alright, we're coming into Centauri Base. Now, I'm going to build this is my this is my current build, if you want to call it that, that I'm trying to work on. And thanks to glass panes being the way they are, what I'm trying to build is a crystal palace here. Sort of like an um, not an allegory, a um, yeah, <laughs> I can't think of the word. Uh, it, it's sort of a, a... Oh, jeez, what do you call those things? Blankets. Anyway, it's it's sort of a, um, a sister to the the, uh, uh, the Desert Palace. <clears throat> and it's going to take a lot of glass, which means I need to make a, mine a whole crap load of sand. Seems to be the story of my life in this game is... The stuff that I really like is made from sand. Glass and sandstone are my favorite blocks to build with. And they have a very nice light texture. Well, unfortunately, you need to mine crap tons of sand to do it. Um, I have a nice fountain here. This is as big as it's going to get. This I actually dug out, and it goes out from under here. And... It feeds this little waterfall and this little grotto. This is actually a pretty neat little place. I uh, I started building here because I thought it would look really awesome to have all these little archways, and grottos. It's very scenic. Natural waterfall there. It has all these nice little caves underneath there and. This is what I was working on when uh, 1.8 updated. Um, excuse the yeah, caves. It's just a little, nice little place, a nice little place. The uh, the atmosphere really lends itself to wanting to be like a really RPG crystal palace-y thing. And I kind of like it. I'm probably not going to move too much farther. Um, oh, jeez, let's see. Somewhere over there, and this would be... South? Yeah. I, I That actually is a bit of a misnomer when I said it was the Great Northern Railway. I named it the Great Northern Railway when the cardinal directions were still swapped 90 degrees. Um, so I guess it's more of the Great North-South Railway, but uh, yeah. I might still call it the Great Northern Railway because as far as I'm concerned, the sun in Minecraft start, uh, rises and sets in the north. Um, we're just going to assume that the planet of Minecraft is completely tilted 90 degrees on its axis and spins in a uh, vertical manner to its star. So, yeah. Instead of, instead of the sun rising in the east or the west, or it not rising at all because this planet spins with its axis of rotation pointing at its star, it actually has its axis of rotation pointing along its orbital path. <laughs> I'm a scientist! Anyway, as you can see, I'm wandering around uh, a little mushroom village I made. I thought this would look really cool while I mined um, some diamonds to actually flesh out the Crystal Palace. That's the, I that's the idea of this palace over here, is I want to make it so that it is made almost completely of diamond blocks and glowstone, and it's going to look badass when I'm done. Um, so, there's probably going to be more mines I'm going to drop down in through here as time progresses. Um, but these mushroom houses are pretty nice. Um, pretty quick to build. I mean, if you've killed a couple of skeletons and you have some, uh, some glow... If you've killed a couple of skeletons and you have some spare mushrooms, this is the 
fastest way to build a house. Just cut down a couple of trees. You can see it's have a nice little thing going on here. It's a good little, little building. Yeah. Even killed an Enderman out here. So, yeah. Looks very nice. Very uh, cozy. I like it. I don't know what you think. Leave comments. View it, please. I want to know what you guys think. As you can see here, this was, um, well, I built this in 1.9 right after I updated it. 3.5, I don't know if I can read that. The sign blacks out. There we go. Uh, yeah. Once upon a time, this was an infinite lava spring. Not anymore. Um, how I harvested it was I had a um, set, set up where this sign holds the lava back so that it won't fall on me and I can mine out the obsidian from beneath. It did a fairly decent job. I only had probably a 40% loss rate on the uh, obsidian. So that was pretty good. I was trying to think of ways to, uh, to make it work better. I made this after I made my video on the infinite lava spring, which you may have seen. This is... Uh, a little bit more low tech. You got to add the water instead of having it fall down from pistons. Um, so it's a little bit more low tech. I might leave it and swap out the all out for something else and make it like a holy spring or something near me, nearby here and kill that. Um, this is another nice place I like to build. It's uh, got the mountain right there. Good place to kill Enderman. I mean, this is actually a very, very good location to kill Enderman because it's got such hilly terrain. You can always seem to get the drop on them. <laughs> and it's looking like it is going to be nighttime here pretty soon. Really should be heading back to other things in my world. Um... But beyond these mountains is, pro is probably going to be something else. I am not even halfway across my world right now, which tells you just how big this thing is. Um, and it, um, it goes sort of like in that direction instead of heading straight that way. And that direction far, far away is a, a snowy biome, and I'm planning on building a cobblestone castle there as sort of a third palace uh, in the set so I might release it I've always thought maybe I'll release this as an adventure map and uh, tumble some sort of story for it I haven't decided quite yet exactly how it's going to be anyway that's uh, that's my crystal palace in, in under construction anyway um, the next video I'm probably going to have to show you the lava tunnels near my main base so we're gonna hop on the rail system and uh, cut this video off short for now so i hope you enjoyed watching again please rate and comment and uh i'll see you guys later